Now this is one of those institutions where we pass through institutionalization, where we learn value system conventions, where we prepare ourselves for adulthood, for professional life. So school is very important institution. That's why you can imagine this importance from uh, this statement that we define adolescence with reference to school. This is so much important relationship between it. This stage is defined when we join secondary education, high school. If we leave school midway, society, community calls us dropouts or truants. Pagoda, kulo natya. Is kisab ki expressions jo hain, they are used in our society. So see how much importance is given to school during the day. If we are in school, but spend minimum time in classes, see what people call us. They say they are antisocials. They don't consider us even as member of social world. It is the high school because this, why this conception? You are familiar with this. Those young men who remain outside school during school hours, they can become addicts, they can uh, join other antisocial elements. They can uh, join begging, etc., other crimes. So that's why society look at them negatively. The third possibility is it is the high school where we get education, learn professional skills, and know our culture. Here we are institutionalized. So. We attach adolescence, we define adolescence with reference to school. This number one. And number two, it is here that we are institutionalized. We are giving opportunity, we are given opportunity to develop our identity, to prepare ourselves for future life, for adult life. See this period of adolescence that spans from uh, secondary school to uh, beginning of adulthood. This period is considered stress-free, relaxed period for the adolescents because they have no responsibility for finance and for other things. This whole burden is on the shoulders of the parents. They just study. Those who do not experience adolescence in school, they are treated as anti-adolescents. Anti it means society thinks that they haven't gone through the stage of adolescence if they didn't attend the school. Now, this is a point of concern for us, for Pakistanis, where majority of the people in this stage remain away from school. So, in civilized societies, in well-organized societies, and definitely we too are well-organized society, just we need to be serious, we need to revise our commitment, otherwise everything is okay with us, we are also civilized. So, in civilized organized societies, if people are anti adolescents they are not treated well in courts, in hospitals, and in provision of social services. As institutions like school are built around adult culture, what we are learning at school? We are learning adult culture. Adolescents acquire Adult culture 
or they can challenge this culture. So it means it is not just passive reception of adult culture and values and conventions. So we as adolescents at school, we can also question these uh, uh, things which are attached with adult culture. So this is also a place of struggle, a place of conflict of ideas. So school is in fact a place of struggle between two stages of life. One is adolescence, the other is adulthood. The adult culture is being conveyed to us and we are adolescents. So there is difference between the two stages of life. But that's why there is a kind of confusion, there is a kind of conflict and it is the duty of the school and the curriculum to remove this confusion. Here is a task for you to understand these ideas. Do you think those who attend schools full time, they are not anti adolescents they have gone through this stage. Do you think these people are not antisocial? They don't become criminals. They don't shoot at teachers. They are not involved in other antisocial activities. Discuss in your social media group. Send this topic to your friends and then know their ideas. After that, write a note, a critical note on the ideas of your friends about this topic. We conclude in many countries of the world, high school education is very, very important because high school education coincide with adolescence and adolescence is the period where we prepare ourselves for professional life and for adult life roles.